What's going on, people? This is Tashira Say for Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to Playing With. In this episode, we're going to talk about Ivy Audio's Carpenter Trombone. This is a very cool, very high quality contact instrument. Most importantly, it's a free contact instrument. Let's check it out. Yes, yes, yes. So I discovered Ivy Audio uh, a few weeks ago, and I was highly impressed with what I found out about this company. This is a company that produces, at the moment, four really, really cool uh, uh, contact instruments, and they're all free. And we've run into free instruments before, and they're just like, ah, this is cool, this is okay. But then you find stuff like this that is actually very cool, and it sounds great. I mean, you know I'm not much of a player, but this thing just sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. And it actually has a decent amount of features here. Like, first of all, you see your articulations here. So you have your legato, which is what we're in right now. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. You have your sustained. Yeah. And then you have your staccato, which is very cool. Yeah, this thing is nice. The other cool thing about some of these articulations is you actually have a stack overlay, which uh, for the legato, let's check that out. Put that nice staccato right over that, over, over the uh, legato. That's cool, man. You can turn both of these on and off. You also have the release samples, which is cool. And that's with it off. This is with it on. Yeah, and that with that, you don't have to actually hold the, the key that you're playing with down. It would play or it would actually stop. The, uh, the the sample itself with it on it kind of gives it a little more release or sustain to it which is very cool and speaking of sustain let's go over here and this actually has a staccato on right now that's nice turn it off and this is what you get this is very cool very cool then you have your your performance uh, aspects over here. You got your dynamics and you have your expressions. So let's turn both of these off right now. And this is what you have. Sounds very muted, very, very low. But as you turn the dynamics up. Then your expression. This is nice, very nice. Over here you have your reverb, which is very easy to understand because here's your category of reverbs right here. So you got your room, plates, 
uh, halls, chambers, ambiances, and spaces. And then down here, the type of reverb that you want to use. So now we're in plates. Let's just say we wanted to use, I don't know, a uh, silver plate. Nice. And then you can adjust these parameters over here. You have your wet, your size of the room, um, your high pass and low pass, which is very cool. The only thing I don't like about this instrument is these controls are a, a little goofy where you try to drag it up and sometimes it doesn't go as I'm doing right now. I'm trying to drag it up. There we go. And that's adjusting the, uh, the size. I'm sorry, not the size, the wet dry aspect. And once you put a little bit more into it, Ooh, that's hot. I like that a lot. And of course, you can adjust the size. Let's do a little bit of that. Again, these are kind of goofy. Let's adjust it up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. And then you can always just turn off the reverb by clicking here. But once it's on, it definitely ooh, sounds really nice. Yes, uh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. And then you have some other settings. If you click his, this right here, you actually have the legato settings. So you got your attack, your curve, your release, your offset, your release settings down here. Attack, velocity, offset, release, a uh, staccato release. This is very cool. They put a nice amount of time and energy and detail into this instrument. I mean, it goes up pretty high. Depending on the articulation, it goes up pretty high. So let's see. That's the high. Let's see where we are low. That's the low right there. <laughs> and then the other thing that's very cool, this is a contact instrument. It's not in the, in the vein of these contact instruments. So it's a third party and you have to load it as a third party instrument. But with that, you actually get all of the samples. So if you go here, these are all of the samples that are playing in the instrument, which is very cool. It's all the legato samples right here. So of course you can put these particular samples into another sample or you can stack them as contact instruments, different instances of contact instruments and create some really, really crazy stuff. The other thing that's very cool is by this being a contact instrument, you can easily use their internal effects. So let's go here and let's say I want to use, I don't know, uh, a lo-fi. <laughs> Crazy uh, about tape saturation. Sick. Then you come down here and do. Let's do a delay. Just sickening, man. There's so many possibilities with this one free 
Very, very sick instrument. I really, really like that. And again, I'm not much of a player, but man, the potential that you have with this thing is really, really crazy. So if you're interested in getting this, I'm going to advise you to go over to IvyAudio.com. And this is free, but they do have a donation option. And I'm definitely going to recommend if you pick this up, drop them a couple of dollars because you can see the amount of time, energy and just sure love that went into this instrument. And you got to throw something back for that. So with that said, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.